bombshells. Well, this is it. This is the video I've been waiting for. It's my contouring with a Sephora contour palette. Okay, I've never, ever done this in my life before, okay? So, what I've done is washed my face and I've got my hair up in this ugly bun because I don't have time to do my hair. The first thing you're gonna do when you're about to contour is put your moisturizer on, which I did, and also primer. So I'm going to take my Sephora Beauty Amplifier Ultra Smoothing Primer. Okay, I'm gonna pump a little bit in my hand, just about this much. You can't even see it because it's clear, but you know the gist. And I'm gonna apply it with my hands, okay? If I look over at my screen, it's because I'm using it as a mirror. I know, apparently, you have to let this dry. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna let this dry a little bit. Ooh. You guys, I have a pretty cool video coming up and it's outside of my realm, but it's something that I've been doing for a long time. It's a little DIY project. I've gotten many compliments on it lately, so I figured I'd show you guys what's up and show you how to do it. It's super, super, super easy. Anyway, that's another video. Okay, so first I'm gonna take my uh, Sephora Make No Mistake foundation stick and I'm gonna apply it to my face as I would any other day, okay? And I have my little foundation brush right here that I'm gonna use. So I'm just going to kind of draw some foundation on my face, covering up all my little flaws and <laughs> okay yes Halloween is over I know okay so we're gonna by the way I spent $50 on a costume for my son and morning comes and he's now in a morning kindergarten class and he's not an early riser so it's been a difficult transition for us and he refused he, so he got up actually he's in kind of a a mood every morning <laughs> as I am and he refused to wear his costume and you know what I even offered him a hundred bucks and he still wouldn't do it. So I put it in his little backpack to take to school. And when he got there, I guess he saw all the other little kids wearing their costumes. So he decided to put it on. And I didn't even have to pay him a hundred bucks. So thank you, teacher, for that. Okay, so. I put my foundation all over my face. Okay, step one, one. So the next thing I'm gonna do is open up my palette. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to put powder on. I think at the end, right, you guys? Let's open up this brand new contour palette that I, oops. Oh, this is so lovely. Okay, so look, you guys. Look at all those nice colors. Now, I was a little unsure about creams or powders, and I had already bought this. And my cousin, who's very good at doing makeup and knows everything about it, told me that actually powders are a lot easier to use for contouring. So, I'm going to, first, what you have to do, from what I understand, is your highlighting, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna take, um, now I brought my brushes down, so I'm gonna look for one. Well. <laughs> Help. Um, let's just take an angled, no. Um, oh man. 
Oh, contouring. Okay, here we go. So my small angled brush. That's easy enough. Which is my small angled brush. Bam. Here it is. My small angled brush. Is it? No, that's not it. This is it. Okay, look, you guys. This is that whole kit that I got off of Amazon called uh, BS Small. Remember from the BS Small? It's going to work great. So what you want to do first is you're going to take highlighter and you're going to, so they say to do it about two shades lighter than what your skin is. So if I had to guess, I would say this color right here. Let's just put it up to my skin. I don't think this one. I think I'm going to go with this one in the middle. See what happens, okay? So I'm going to put a little bit on my brush. And the first place I'm going to start is my forehead, okay? So I'm going to put some highlighter here. And I'm going to kind of put it in a round, circular kind of... I don't know. I would think that uh, liquid might work better, but what do I know? Okay, so then I'm also going to bring it down the middle of my nose. Um, I believe under my eyes. So I'm putting it on first and then I'll blend it, okay? I hope you guys can see this well because I can barely, I mean, I can actually see it. Um, a little here on my chin. Is that right? My cheekbones. No. Uh, on the top of my cheekbones here and here okay now I'm gonna blend it all in no I'm not gonna blend it in now I'm going to actually do the darker contouring part okay guys I forgot to do my chin so here I'm gonna do this little you guys always, oh, one thing that I learned is that in order to decide what kind of contouring you're going to do, you have to know the, your face shape. In other words, is your face longer than it is wider? Where mine is, so I consider my uh, face oval, okay? And so I am doing uh, contouring for an oval face. Don't ask me about other face shapes but I can research it okay so okay so then the next thing we're gonna do is take um, the contour so I'm just I don't know I guess I'm gonna use uh, my little I'm gonna use my foundation brush because it's nice and um, angled and so yeah so what I'm gonna do is first go along the jawline so you want to feel where your jaw line is okay so mine's like right around here I mean sorry not my jaw line my cheekbone so my cheekbone ends right about here okay so I'm gonna do the same on the other side and you're gonna bring it all the way up to like you know past your ear okay and then I'm gonna do the sides of my nose apparently this is gonna create a um, skinny nose, <laughs> whatever. And then I'm going to do the sides of my head. Okay. So I'm just, you see how I'm just patting that on. It, look, it's creating a shade, which I guess is what we want. Okay. And where else do I need it? Um, Now it's time to. So now I'm just gonna do a little bit of contouring on the outside of the jaw. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna do contouring right here, a little bit on the jaw, okay? Just exactly kind of in the same area that I did the highlight, but a little uh, further up. Okay, so I have my nose, my forehead, my cheeks, my jawline, and now, you guys, I'm going to blend it all in. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna blend everything kind of together, okay? Let's see how it turns out. I'm gonna blend it all in with the highlighter. How's it looking, you guys? Okay, I'm gonna save my nose for last because I really wanna see the effects of it. I'm gonna blend in that highlight just right into my forehead with the rest of this contour makeup. Okay, and last but not least, you guys, I'm gonna do my nose, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. And we're gonna just blend it together. I hope that's what I'm supposed to do. I can see that line right there, or is that my natural skin? I'm an eye figure. You just kind of keep blending. Okay. So, you guys, now I'm just going to do what I would usually do with the rest of my makeup because. I don't think I need any more powder because all of this contouring stuff is powder, okay? So I'm gonna put a little uh, of my lovely Tarte lip gloss that I seem to be almost out of. And of course, coat it with my light color, which I don't have here, of course, so I'll just use a light lip gloss. It doesn't matter what I'm using, you guys. Okay, now I, I, would, I would think if you don't think you have enough contour that you could just do something darker. So just for the hell of it, you guys, I'm going to do the darkest one and I'm gonna redo that whole thing again okay and see if I see a bigger difference so we're gonna do the cheekbones remember find your cheekbone you guys can like throw this video in the garbage when you're done with it uh, And then I'm going to blend it up again. Remember like in the olden days when you would just like suck in your cheeks and then put blush on and that was that and then you go out and nobody knew what the hell, whether or not you had cheekbones or fake cheekbones or that was your real nose or if it was your fake nose whatever's clever you guys whatever's clever okay finally my nose job I've always wanted one so 
I guess this is the next best thing. Wow. My nose looks a lot, a lot thinner. That's crazy. Doesn't it? It does, you guys. I'm looking at my nose and I'm thinking, it doesn't look like my nose. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I guess, I'm gonna add my blush because I mean, I imagine you need blush too. Like you can't just highlight and leave. So I'm just gonna put the apples of my cheeks on and I hope I'm not messing up my whole, see, I think it feels, it looks dark right there, but maybe it's supposed to. Okay. Cheek number one. Cheek number two. It's so funny that as I'm making this video, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about what I'm going to watch on Netflix. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> so. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is get my Maybelline Lash Sense Mascara and just put the final touch on. Of my little contouring video. That's it. So I'm gonna post a before and after so you guys can tell me if you see a difference. But um, yeah, that's, that's how you use this palette from Sephora. My battery's about to die. Perfect timing. So you guys, uh, if you liked my stupid ass video today, give me a thumbs up or share with your friends, like and subscribe. Listen, I made this video to show you guys how easily you could do this without being, I mean, I hope it looks like it's a decent job, but I don't know, maybe it looks like shit, who, who knows. But whatever it is, I know that if I follow instructions, I could probably do a good job, and I actually think I did a pretty good job. Um, when I look at the screen from here, I really feel like my face is looking contoured. Okay guys, I forgot to do my chin. So here, I'm gonna do this little, you guys always, oh, one thing that I learned is that in order to decide what kind of contouring you're going to do, you have to know the, your face shape. In other words, is your face longer than it is wider? Where mine is, so I consider my, uh,